Tonight on Beer Geek Nation, we look at Victory's St. Victorious Double Bach. Hey guys, this is Chris Stoltz with Beer Geek Nation, and tonight we're going to be looking at Victory Brewing. Um, their St. Victorious, which is a German Double Bach, um, which is basically a dark lager. Um, double box were created, I believe, in the mid 1600s when um, German monks from uh, Saint Palu, I believe, was the name of the monastery. Um, they went up into the mountains, and in order to survive the cold weather, they created this um, these rich, dark lagers that they now know as double box, and basically they called it liquid bread. Um, that's more or less what it was. They come in between about eight and eleven percent alcohol usually. This one sits in at about eight, eight and a half, nine, somewhere in there. Um, a lot of these you're going to get deep, rich notes of like raisins and plum and just like dark, uh, dark fruits. If you can imagine like eating a uh, piece of like raisin bread that's been toasted a little bit, you get a, like a little bit of that kind of that effect with these. Um, these are also sipping beers. You can't drink a lot of them. Um, they are, you know, they're really filling, high in alcohol. But uh, they are really a treat. These, um, they're also pretty good for cellaring. Not great for cellaring, but you can usually let them go for about six months and you're not going to lose any kind of quality in the taste. You're actually going to gain more of the, uh, the deeper, rich, um, kind of, you know, dried fruit aspects of them. Um, Victor, I think, actually puts a date on theirs. Yeah, best enjoyed by January 5th, 2011. So that's, this is a seasonal beer comes out in January, February, March. Um, it's out usually around then. So you have about a year, I mean, to drink this and it's still gonna be fine. So you know if they're putting a year on there you can put you can sell it longer than that. But so let's uh, pour this and see what we got. Okay, so uh, pouring this, you don't get a lot of hop aroma. It's just not traditional to the style. Uh, there's a little bit. It's going to be more earthy, kind of spicy, not real. You're not going to get the floral, citrus, uh, piney kind of hops. It's just not the not the way these are brewed. Um, you do get a little bit of the yeast lager characteristics, the lager yeast characteristics, um, which is kind of a... I don't know how to describe it other than like an earthy, kind of like wet dirt kind of smell. Um, that's not the best way to describe it, but that's kind of what, what it does smell like. Um, you get a lot of, yeah, you get a lot of the, the sweet malts. Um, and as it warms up, you get a lot, a lot of the dark fruit, plum, raisin. I'm getting, yeah, a lot of uh, plum. Um, the alcohol is definitely present. A lot of raisin, like a spicy cinnamon with the yeast. It's kind of like a, a fruity, it's got the fruity esters from the yeast in it. Yeah, it's very good. That's a very traditional double bock. Um, if you ever had uh, the Celebrator double bock from Iyengar, it's very similar to that. Um, it's a little bit maltier. I was, I'm surprised actually how sweet it is. I wasn't expecting that. Um, there's really no bittering hops that I can detect, um, but I do get a little bit of the hop a little, a little bit of hop flavor, just a little bit of bittering, hardly hardly any there, but it's definitely there now that I kind of sat on my tongue a little bit. Yeah, alcohol definitely present. Um, not as present, as not as obvious as I would have thought for being in, I think it's an 8% beer, um, but it's there, definitely. A lot of malt characteristics. This one's just uh, I'm surprised how how sweet it is. It's like a dark cherry almost. I'm getting like a dark, you know, not even raisiny, just a really like dark plum, ch dark cherry kind of flavor. Uh, it's 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 really impressive actually. But yeah, um, these are Victory. I'm pretty sure you can get throughout the country. Um, I'm on the East Coast, so I can you can get it pretty much anywhere on the East Coast. I know they just started shipping to Florida, so you might be able to get it there. Um, if you can get it, 
you know, in the, on the West Coast or Central. Um, there's a ton of different double box. I mean, almost every brewery makes one. Um, the Eyinger one is one that I recommend. It's You can get that pretty much anywhere. That's a traditional German double box. It's just spot on. If you want to do a comparison, that, that would be the one I would go with. So, yeah, that's uh, Victory's St. Victorious. Um, it's their double back lager. It's available. It should be available now. It's from about January to April. You can get it. Uh, Victory Brewing, highly recommend it. Uh, I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, it's about an 8. About an 8. It's good stuff. All right. So until next time, cheers.